So that's the first step. Now, the second step is non-maximum suppression. And the idea here is, what you want to do is, you want to look in a, in a local neighborhood and for each location or each pixel in your input image, you, you want to say that whether the magnitude of this edge is actually greater than the neighboring pixels or not. Okay. So if the magnitude is greater than, then you say that it's an edge. So which is kind of you're saying if it's a peak or not. So if it's a peak, then this value will be higher than all the other values in the neighborhood, right? Then you say it's an edge. If it's not, you say it's not an edge, irrespective of whatever like magnitude you have. Now there is a catch. When you look into the neighborhood, you only look into the orientation of the edge. So if your, let's say your edge is in, uh, has this orientation, right? So you will only look in this direction. For example, let's say we are interested in this pixel location Q. What we will do, and this is the direction, we will just draw this and we'll try to find the magnitude of H at the neighboring values. Okay. And we'll compare this value with this values. And if the magnitude at this location is higher than these two R and P, we will say Q is an H. Now, sometimes it may happen because this is not a continuous space. It's a discrete space. In this orientation, you might not have any pixels. So in that, that case, what you will do is you will try to interpolate this value using the neighboring pixels of that location, right? So in this case, R, you will get, it could be like a weighted average of this pixel and this pixel. Similarly, P will be a weighted average of this pixel and this pixel. And then you will compare value of P and Q and Q and R. And depending upon what the result is, you will say Q is an edge or not. All right. So let's try to visualize this. Uh, if this is your edge, then orientation will give you something like this. Okay, so the orientation is not like where the edge is uh, inclined towards. It's always, it's giving you the normal. All right. So let's make this discrete. And in this case, if these three are pixel values, uh, X dash, Y dash, X, Y, and X double dash, Y dash. So at this location, what you will do is you will call this, this as an edge only if the magnitude of your first order derivative is greater than X dash, Y dash, and X double dash, Y double dash. Otherwise, it's not an edge. So that's like a very, very simple uh, rule here. Okay, so it's just saying that what I could explain. Okay, so let's uh, see like how uh, the edges will change. This is a before non-maximum suppression. And after suppression, you can see what it actually doing is, it's actually thinning your edges, okay? So if you, if you focus on like edge of this cap over here, in the original uh, version, you can see like it's kind of thick, but what this non-max suppression is doing is it's making it thinner. So what happened is because this is the edge direction, so the normal will be in this direction, right? So if you if you look at look at this direction, then only one of the pixels will be called an edge. You will suppress all the others. Okay, so that's like uh, one additional step we have in Kenny edge detection.